As I prepare for my fourth and last clinicals, I thought that this would be a good idea to show you. Here are a few things that helped me along the way. Just like you, I was anxious about the unknown. I didn't know what to do, what to wear, what to bring. Aside from a regular white coat, oops, I'm sorry, there is no white coat because I didn't get one. However, if you think you are going to need it, then you should treat yourself to one. You definitely deserve it. I did get my student ID custom made and of course I bought my ID tag from Etsy. Very affordable. I think I spent about under $25 for my student tag and as well as my student ID. The top priority in the list is a hard copy of the DSM-5 book. Mine has been used and abused. I'm definitely a PDF gal but in this case a hard copy was inevitable. I like to mark and write on the book, put on some bookmarks for references. I actually use this on both clinical rotation and also on the practicum and the NRNP classes. For the next one, most facilities will provide you with a computer, but it also won't hurt if you have your own laptop. In the beginning, my daughter's laptop broke and she had to use my MacBook. I had brought in a tiny Chromebook. It's like a backup laptop in our household, but with my never ending questions, I had to buy a cheap laptop that has a big screen to toggle from screen to screen so I can see better. This particular laptop is definitely affordable. This laptop is about $200-ish. It has a widescreen perfect for my daily clinical rotation use. Guys, I'm not sure if this is going to be helpful or what, but I got myself a blue light blocking glasses. So we document so much as nurses, right? If you had your screen time while studying, writing papers, and typing up your patient's report, your eyes will thank you. Super cheap. I got mine from Amazon for under seven-ish bucks. The next one, I think this is also a priority and very, very important. I can't really tell you how much I use this list. So much so that I actually have to reprint a copy just so I can show you guys. Just because my old one has full of notes everywhere, highlighted, circled, you name it. It definitely has been used and abused. So I would have to say to bring in or print a list of your FDA approved medications. As you go through each classes, medications will be easier to handle and or to recommend. Walden University provides this information. It is available for you in your NRNP classes, just FYI. The next one is bookmarks. In my clinical facility, we use Practice Fusion, but we also are transitioning to Carrillo Electronic Health Records. I have both the Electronic Health Records bookmark. I also have NAMI. NAMI is the website for National Alliance on Mental Illnesses. It's basically a mental health organization dedicated to building better lives for the millions of Americans affected by mental illness. This website honestly has everything. It has snippets of common psychiatric medications. If you are well versed with Google, try to make a separate account with your personal and also your clinical so you have your set bookmarks. Um, in this particular bookmarks, I also have my test template that I normally use like the PHQ-9 or the GAD-7. Um, I perform this routinely with my patients and I copy and paste them appropriately on my notes. So the reason for that is that, to be honest with you, when I do perform this routine questions with my patients, I normally cut and copy paste it on their notes just because of the fact that, yes, the, you know, in the EHR that we currently use in the facility that I do my clinical rotation, they normally just have the questions and then it'll give me the number, but it doesn't provide 
the actual questions and, and all. I like to reference it, you know, when I do see them, especially when, when they're coming in every two weeks or whatnot. I do want to kind of see where they are progressing in this little test, this routine test that I do. Honestly, in the beginning, you will find it difficult to incorporate with your assigned patients, but as you do it all the time, it will definitely come very, very easy. All right, I'm going to keep this video very short. I will probably end up making a part two since I have more tips under my armpit to share. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are good. See you in the next video. Paalam.